case customers already laid out these posts, we've measured them and they're pretty accurate so we're going to follow these so that we can line it up for his specifications. So we're just going to run down to this post and that post. Okay, that's it. Alright, I come down here and move this one over here. give us our starting line and we won't move this line. We'll move the other ones if we have to the square. See this is actually that's actually thirty. Now on this switch we're gonna notch so it's an exact true thirty. Go ahead and get one right there. Okay. We're just going to move it over until it hits the 30. Wow. Okay. Maybe I'll keep it. Okay. So now we're just gonna start our marking. So Sharpie works really good for this. Okay, easy. Come on down here and hold this. Center and you're just going to be a setback. Okay, he's going to be um, going back an inch and a half this way. Okay, because there's a setback, we're going to go an inch and a half past the 10 foot. So this is going to be the first 10 foot on center pole. We're going to go to 10 foot. He's holding on to one foot mark, so it's showing 11, but this is actually 10. Inch and a half back. That way, when we set the header in, it's going to stick out an inch and a half over, and that's going to give us something for the truss to sit on. We're going to go down and do the second post, third post. This is going to be 20 foot on center, so we're going to go down to the 21. And again, we're going to go an inch and a half over towards the front. These in the center are going to be center marks. Out on the end, we're going to be the end ones. Then we're going to come back here to 30 feet. And we're going to set back an overall of three inches now. An inch and a half plus the inch and a half set back for the back. Okay, so we're coming out to plus our foot overhang. Plus our foot that he has it over there. Without going a foot over, just oh. hold it back on the end. And that's our extreme mark right there. Three inches under 30. 
We'll have an inch and a half sticking over the front and an inch and a half sticking over the, the back. Let me take a picture over here where I'm going to get a starting mark. Is that about right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you go one foot over, and that's cool, just let me know you're doing it, that's good. So we're one foot over, so it should be 29.9 plus a foot, 30, not 30 foot, 9 inches. Down in wind. Okay. Very good. Make sure you're not hitting the string. 43 foot and one half inch is what we're coming up with here. 43 foot and one half inch. You hold it a foot over. We got 43 foot. So you're one foot over? We have 43 foot, four and a half, so we're three inches out. 43.2. Really, really close. I got a pull on it. Forty-three, two and a half. So I should have taken the whole half an inch. It's almost there. So it's forty. Forty-three, two. I think this is right. Okay, we're going to just hold, put it back just a hair and then we'll start it right there. Good. Mm-hmm. Okay, 11 foot and an inch and a half back. Which is actually 10 foot. I'm going to go 21. Three inches back. One more, right? Yeah, forty three, two and a quarter. Three, two and a quarter. It's perfect. It doesn't get any closer. 